Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just that's something I'm not very used to. Reading in company with someone, I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I understand what Yuri means about reading in company. I can feel her presence over my shoulder. I need a drink. Now, that's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri in the cor is in the corner of my eye. She's not actually looking at her own book. Glance over, it looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of... I couldn't read that either. Subliminal messages, huh, game? Do your worst. I probably already did mine. Sorry. I mean... Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, this should work, right? I slide my desk and then hold the book between the two of them. I suppose so. Timidly closes her own copy. We each look, <clears throat> lean in a bit. Our shoulder is almost touching. I almost feel that my left arm is in the way, so I use my right hand to hold open the book. Makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. What kind of creepy juju are you gonna pull during the like fancy drawings? I'm like looking around to see what kind of weird stuff might be happening in like the curtains or whatever. <laughs> do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way a page turns to lift to her side, but holding it like this. We're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. As if I can feel the warmth of her face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's turn the page. Ah, oh, sorry. I got a little bit distracted for a second. We glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't like how we'll be able to I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. That's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished reading before I have, so I turn the page by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character room is... Oh. This again. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second-guessed what she thinks and all. Says and all. Ah. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Oh, the creepy little... The way they turned up the, uh you know, edginess of the book. Ugh. Might, yeah, the character. It stands to reason that if the synopsis changed, then the character changed. Never mind. Her face is getting real weird over here. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Ah ha ha. You alright? Yeah. It's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. The reading is... <coughs> My breathing. She puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. You know, yeah. I'd hate to over. I'd hate for you to, you know, have something horrible happen to you because you overexerted yourself reading a book that you've already read before. Mary sits up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Something happened just now? Well, we were reading, and then she got weird. I have no idea. She was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. Just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. 
Uh -huh. Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Henry just does this sometimes, so it's not alarming. If you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sh sharing our poems with each other? Eh. Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? I was just asking. I stand up. Make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. We'll just start with Natsuki first. I told Natsuki that I was interested in her. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. Is her poem going to be the same or is that going to be different too? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. But hey, at least she didn't like straight up smack talk me right away. That's good. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. That is progress. It just doesn't evoke any emotions. So basically it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you will like it. No, this is the same. I feel like if they were gonna put some weird details in it, it would be the one that Monica writes. Yeah, I like it. I am. Yeah, this conversation is basically the same. Yeah. But then, uh, more weight on the wordplay, setting up for a rhyme, and then make it fall flat on purpose. Helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Yeah, calm down. Your, your tooth over there is still really funny. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here. Guess not. Humor her with the last comments. I don't really care how old she is, but if she's feeling proud, I won't take it away from her. Alright, Monica. What kind of strange trip am I in for? Having a good time so far? I miss Sayori. <laughs> glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions in the club, for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha, figure skating pose. Don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Well, it's the sort of barrier that we learn to get past. Great job. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That's why I always counts. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Ha ha ha, that's not very fair. I guess it worked anyway. You know, Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. Spends so much time in her own head, she's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why <clears throat> she always gets so happy when you treat her with kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems, eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad that you took the time you needed. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. 
That's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel that way. Well, let's at least read it then. Hole in the wall is still the same. Looks like I... Uh... Wait. I'm pretty sure this is a different... Yeah, the words here are different. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance around my surrounding. My burned eyes can no longer see the color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking or are they simply poems? Flat on sheets of paper, the sound frantically, a frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. Breath dissipates from I panic. There must be a way out. It's right here. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. I'm pretty sure that's not what it was the first time. So what did you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. I'm not right. I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Aha, uh -huh, that's okay. That kind of style has become pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you say, I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff, because it's coming on strongly. Maybe after one is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. I'm just waiting for the black and white text to scroll across here. Pen and paper, tidy it up later. It's this, if you keep your pen on the same spots. Dark big puddle of ink. Move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I wonder what's gonna happen when they- or I wonder if they're even going to fight with each other. But if they do, I wonder what's gonna happen now. I'm gonna have to side with one of them, because Sayori can't just bail me out. So you reach the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. What was that? I say that out loud? Covers her mouth and ends up covering her whole face. Uh, he's going to hate me? What? You really didn't do anything wrong. That's, I guess you're right. What I'm getting, what am I getting nervous for? Ha ha ha. Takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery? You've written a lot of poetry before. I skipped over some words there, I'm sorry. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? Bl stares at me blankly, looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Trails off, unable to find an excuse. Traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. Recognizing new writers, they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both styles and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she's gone, not gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's nothing you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, and trying a few new things. I'd also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Not sure if she's apologizing to herself, me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club?
I know this doesn't seem different by the words. I just thought it was. I just thought I remember it being longer. Whatever. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Again, mine is way worse. Also, that didn't take me a long time to read it all this time. I just don't read script very often. I think your handwriting is pretty. That's a relief. I also liked the poem. Even if it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since that first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. You're into ghost theory? Not the actual topic. Gah. Really? I totally must have missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, even though you said I took a long time to read it. I remember that the poets often express their own thoughts and feelings. And their experiences of the world. <sighs> uh, their experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. Uh -huh. That is... crazingly fitting, considering how this started. It's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought about that. That's impressive. Yeah. It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. No. I was really nervous about this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. Keep doing my best. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I did my best. Yeah, but, uh... Oh. I don't know why, but I feel almost obligated to repeat some of the stuff I said before, which is why I just did that real quick. Me too. Alright, what? Well, a few. I guess that's everyone. Glance around the room. This is a little bit more stressful than I anticipated. Ah, oh, it is as if everyone is judging me for my own meter and ochre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Writing something in her notebook, my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper. I watch their expressions change. Eyebrows furrow in frustration, Yuri smiles sadly. It's with this language. Eh. Did you say something? Oh, nothing. Dismissively returns the poem. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to... Actually, she was one. Yours is cute. Did you miss the symbolism or something? It's about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. It was trying to say something nice. You have a hard time coming up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't. But it didn't come out nice at all. <clears throat> well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> was looking for suggestions, I would ask someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. So based on that, I'll gladly, gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer. But I have spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Nyrnma. <laughs> And he liked my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Matsugi suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member. Eh? Oh, the fun banjo kazooie song. That's not what I, uh, guessed. Stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that he appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, I wonder if we'll be able to have Monica try and come in for the save here. No, I was just... If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Well, you know what? 
There we go again with that. Even though it doesn't make sense. That's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurity on... Ooh. Ooh. This is getting more fun. Are you gonna make me advance it or are you just gonna... I guess I have to, don't I? Really act as long as, long as you look, Natsuki. Is this crazy? I'm expecting a jump scare here in a second. Oh, jeez. Edgy. Sorry that my lifestyle, lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. This 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 soundtrack is getting out of hand. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your own toxic personality by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on all that edge. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go put on my gloves for this. Oh my bad, you already do. Oh no, my suspicions are confirmed. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? Oh man. Dropping some swear words now. Oh wait, she did that earlier. Yeah, go on. Let him hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah. Suddenly you're each- Oof. Hello. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. This conversation is way more intense this time. She started it? How did I get dragged into this not like I was kidding? Okay, well. The fast scrolling really messes with me. I want to be able to read all of it. <laughs> I don't care what you do to me, I'm not picking Natsuki. Ah, you're just gonna make me. Hello. <laughs> um, hey. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Sorry about that. <laughs> Ooh, this is fun. Oh, pulled me in because I legitimately felt for the one character, and now I am stuck in this cavalcade of whatever this is. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. I, I, I feel like if we leave them alone, Yuri's gonna, like, pocket knife her. Figure skating pose. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. You confronted me pre-assertively there. I wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. I didn't even mean to do that. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. I noticed that before, actually. Yeah, I, we understand because, you know, my character couldn't say no to you. Makes sense you want to spend less time uh, if it, this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh. She's been super upset. Oh dear. Well it looks like they're done. See, I don't particularly care for her, but I uh didn't really want it. I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. Rocking back and forth within her desk. I can't wait till this sprite pops up. Yuri? Oh, it's just... I believe you. I have no idea what she might have said. Or did. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure she'll not... She'll forget about it by tomorrow. Completely. Oh yeah? Will she? How are you so sure? Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home if you want. 
Yuri looks at me as if she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first. I'd like to stay just a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. And it sounds like you don't want to be around me for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with him. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. I really appre- Okay. Well. I don't know if this is the day before, like, the first poem writing again, or if this just skipped me to day two. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to figure that out next time, because I've been recording for an hour. And I don't have another three hour recording in me. Oh man, this has definitely gotten interesting quick, though. At first, I was just I was just pulled in by the drama that happened the previous episode or recording session, and now I am stuck here. I hope you're enjoying. Oh man, just sitting here stumbling into my outro again. See the, f the you see originally I stumbled into outros because I was bad at them, and now it's because this game has just baffled me. Anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time, as always, follow me to Apex.